A couple of weeks ago, me and my boyfriend decided to travel to the Estonian capital of Tallinn for the weekend. Tallinn is a super popular destination amongst Finns because it's only two hours with the ferry from Helsinki. So on Friday we took the Tallinn ferry over to Tallinn which cost us 36 euros each one way. After a comfortable two hour ride on the ferry which by the way was super nice we arrived to Tallinn and walked to our hotel in the old town, the Hestia Hotel Baron's old town. After arriving to Tallinn we headed to vegan restaurant V, a restaurant that I had heard a lot of good things about and it was really good. The next morning we were greeted by sunshine. The breakfast was one of the main reasons I had chosen this hotel because I really wanted to have a good hotel breakfast. So of course we headed straight for brekkie after waking up. Hello everyone and greetings from Tallinn, Estonia. So we arrived here in Tallinn yesterday. Uh, we took the one train, one ferry and then we walked to our hotel in the old town. We're gonna just be here for the weekend, but this is a really, like Tallinn is a very popular destination amongst Finnish people to come for like a day or two, since it's so close by. Our plan for today, it, was to pick up Yusa's MacBook, which we did. Now we're going to the KGB Museum for a guided tour. And then maybe later today we're going to the spa. And then we have a table reservation at the Rataskaevo 16, which is a very popular restaurant here in Tallinn. And yesterday we had a really good dinner at the Viga restaurant V. Highly recommend that place even if you're not veggie. But yeah, let's go! The KGB Museum guided tour was fascinating. It was super interesting to learn about the KGB's or the Committee for State Security Operation in the Viro Hotel, which today is owned by the Sakos Hotel chain, but once was a popular hotel where a lot of celebrities and politics stayed at when they came to Tallinn during the Soviet Estonia era. The KGB was the main security agency for the Soviet Union from 1954 until 1991, and also had operations and headquarters in the Soviet Estonia. The KGB had a floor just for themselves from where they monitored the hotel, so to speak. Basically, they were able to spy and listen to people who were of interest to the Soviet Union. It's been said that every room in the hotel had a microphone during this time, but this is not true. There were only specific rooms with microphones and these rooms were given to people who the KGB wanted to spy on. The KGB museum was super interesting and our guide Pavel or Pavo was very very good and told the stories very interestingly. I really highly recommend you go to the KGB museum if you're ever in Tallinn. I think it's a important part of the city's or the country's history. So it's located in the Viru Hotel. The weather is really nice today. It's sunny. We are now on the way to Kalev Spa. There's a few spas here in 
Tallinn that you can choose from. Um, for example, Vimsi Spa is one. Then we have Metropol Spa. But we're gonna go to Kalev Spa, which is right here in the old town or nearby. The entrance fee was about 35 euros for the day and included an entrance to their sauna Osis, which is for adults only. After the spa, it was time for dinner. And if there's one restaurant I recommend going to in Tallinn, it's Rataskaevu 16. I'd highly recommend booking a table in advance since it's very popular, but it's so worth it. The food is fantastic and this is my favorite restaurant in Tallinn and also one of my favorite restaurants all time, like ever. We enjoyed a three course dinner with some drinks and wine and it was such a good experience. This is definitely a place you have to visit. As I mentioned, Tallinn is a popular destination amongst Finns and I've been to Tallinn a few times myself. A lot of people prefer to just stroll around the old town or Vanalin in Estonian and explore the restaurants and boutiques in that area. The Tallinn old town is beautiful and definitely a must-see spot for anyone visiting Tallinn or Estonia in general. And actually it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The origins of Tallinn date back to the 13th century. If you're visiting Tallinn for multiple days or on multiple occasions, I challenge you to take a look at the other things that Tallinn has to offer. Last time me and Yusa visited Tallinn a few years ago in the summer and we decided to visit the old Patare prison, which is located in Tallinn just walking distance from the old town. The prison has a horrific history, but visiting the abandoned prison is very interesting and eye-opening. Another interesting place to visit in Tallinn is the Bastion Passages, the mysterious underground passages. These passages are about 10 meters below ground and just so you know, the temperature is pretty chilly even in the summer. I hope you have enjoyed this video from Tallinn and or stay for the weekend in Tallinn and also got some helpful or useful tips for your next visit to Tallinn, Estonia. And thanks for watching this video, I will end it here. Bye!